Ms. Lazar, would you come to my office now? Come in. Good morning, Ms. Pereira and Ms. Good morning. Could you please get the latest files in? I want to check the student's profile. Uh, okay, ma'am. For a minute. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Ms. Lazar, would you check an appointment with Ms. Anna for me tomorrow? Okay, ma'am. No, that. Thank you. Come in. Oh, good morning, Ms. Anna. Oh, I'm here. Sit down. You're just right in time for our session. How's your day so far? Oh, um, thank you, Ms. Mayra. I'm fine. I, I went here straight yet after I've been dismissed. Oh, I see. How's your subjects? Tell me more about it. Very the same, but it's getting kind of hard for me because there are a lot of papers to be submitted and requirements to be met. And my schedule, it's so hectic compared before. So I tend to lose my focus and I get so overwhelmed with so much work. So you're saying that you're not yet adjusted with our new class schedule for the semester in So bothered with your school performance. Um, yes, Miss. I get. I can't even participate during our class discussions and in our group activities. And because of that, you lose your focus. Um, do you think is it hard for you to cope up with the deadlines or meet with expectations? Yes, yes, Miss. So. I think that you will just need to change your study habits and that yes, yes, I, I, I hope so too, Miss. I am currently doing what you have just said. So is there anything more bothering you? Do you want to open up or share something? Yes, there's really something bothering me, Miss. I lost my focus in my studies and I just felt that all my efforts led to nowhere. That's why I thought of not putting any effort into the things that I do and just do the things that I like, you know, just go with the flow. I just feel so useless right now and my scholarship is at risk and I'm about to quit volleyball. So you're saying that your school performance is about to tend to decline? Unfortunately, Miss. So tell me, is it because of your professors? Is it because of your coach? Or is it because they are pressuring you too much? No, 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 miss. It's not my professors, nor it's my coach. In fact, they're getting concerned with my grades and my performance in my extracurricular activities. So who do you think made you lose this focus? This I think one factor is that I've been going through a recent problem and there's no one I could confide to or seek advice from. Um, you may see that I have so many friends here, but I don't have any permanent groups of friends. And as you know, my parents, they don't have the time to talk to me because they're both work colleagues. Uh, it seems that you, are, you have so many um, facts that affects you now and that I wonder if which is the main cause or reason would you please like to um, clarify more or add up more? Honestly, Miss, this is hard to admit but I think it's because of me and you know, my, my ex-boys. What about that, Anna? The recent problem that I had is that my boyfriend of over a year broke up with me and I don't I don't even know why he broke up with me. I don't understand his point. But but whatever, I don't care. I don't care now. It's his loss anyway and I'm better off without him. So this on what he said, it seems that you don't feel that much bad about that relationship. But I just noticed that your fists are clenched and that your voice somewhat increases.
You know, Anna, that's why you're here. I'm here to listen to everything you would like to say or everything you wanted me to hear. You just need to open up a little bit more. I just think it's what I really need right now is it's it's courage and up until now I still don't have it. The real reason that is I lost my focus because I was so preoccupied with the idea that Gina broke up with me and I can't accept the fact that he would do such a thing for me, you know? I, I built my world around him and right now I just don't know what to do. I want to move on but every time that I try I feel it's it's because I still love him, you know? I still I still I still let me get straight to the point. You said that you had been to a recent breakup and that you never see it coming. You said that you never expected Gino to do it to you. And that you said you still love him. But you know that you must move on in order for you to be back and redeem your academic performance. Yes, yes, miss. Miss, do you think that you could help me with this problem of mine? Definitely, Anna. I can help you. We're both in this together. We can work on it step by step, little by little, as long as you would cooperate and that you would open up with me. It's just that I don't know how to move on because my heart's still with you. And, and, you know, I just don't see the point of the situation in my life. But came to a point that I already started hating him, especially at times when his lame reasons would fall across my mind. You seem to have been living with the ambivalence of your past relationship. Now, I wanted you to make a dialogue, or a monologue instead. Um, imagine that Gina's here. Say everything you want to say. Release all the hurts, the pain, all your emotions. That burdens your heart at this moment. Okay. I want to prove him that I want to prove him something that I really want to regain the confidence I once had. I want to show him that I'm better off without him. And that his lame reason that we are in a codependent relationship, whatever. So Gino, here's your this this is what I have to say to you. So Codependency na ba yun, ha? Kasalanan na ba na itay sa tawagan ka palagi, ha? Kasalanan na ba na praninat na pagod kapag hindi ka nagre-reply ka agad? As, at kasalanan na ba talaga? Alam mo yun, kapag hindi ako pumapagod sa mga trip mo na ayoko at sa mga lakad mo na hindi ako kasama, ano ba? Ba't pa kaya tayo naging tayo, di ba? Kaya nga girlfriend, di ba? Concerned lang naman ako sa'yo, di ba? I know, just because I acted that way, you broke up with me. You ended up our relationship. Don't you think that the reason that he acted that way is that because we didn't give him enough time for himself, um, freedom, and space? I think, think of it that way, Miss. I don't think so. The feelings that emerges in you, Anna, is not anymore love. You know, you're just in love with the idea of love. But then, as I observe you, um, I think that the feeling that dominates you is that bitterness and that hatred. And you know, Anna, that um, despite your parents' business and not giving you attention, we you know that they love you so much and that they want what would be the best for you. Just try to open up more to them and that uh, use this breakup as a lesson to move forward and don't be hindered by them. That's true, miss. I think that what you said was true. And because of that, I realized that I don't have to make the situation the end of my life. And I came to realize that there would be more opportunities for me in the near future. And I think that my relationship with Gino was a learning lesson for me. And I think that Gino's right that yes, we are really better. I'm glad that you did well in this session today, Anna. Um, as a homework, I would like you to write all your goals and objectives. 
And that, would you please read it for me or to me tomorrow? If it's alright with you? It's okay, miss. Of course, it's okay. Um, thank you, miss. So, yeah. Alright, see you tomorrow. Come in. Oh, it's you, Miss Anna. And here's the bell. Would you please read it to me? Oh, okay, alright. So, I'm um, here. Uh, I wrote here that first, I must exert a lot of effort in my subjects in order for my scholarship to be maintained. I would try to ask for special projects to my professors if they would allow me. I must be back on attending on my volleyball trainings and make up for it. Third, I must try to make friends as much as possible. And also, I would try my best to be back on track by loving and knowing myself now. And I must divert my attention to my goals and objectives in order for me to move on faster and easier. I hope that you would stay in touch with with your uh, goals and objectives, Anna. Um, I hope that that breakup would serve as a lesson to you and that keep motivated. Um, I would always be here for you, as I said yesterday, that we are we are both in this together. All right, thank you, Miss. I've learned so much from you and from this session. So, um, Thank you. All right, Anna. Thank you, please. May God bless you. See you.